Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 meanings behind odd body parts. Our bodies are pretty useful. If it wasn't for things like your arms and legs, you wouldn't be able to do anything. But you might have noticed that some of your body parts aren't as useful at least at a first glance. And you've probably found yourself asking what the actual point of these seemingly useless and odd body parts is. But what you may not know is that these body parts actually have some pretty useful functions. Prepare to never see your body the same again. Before we get into it, leave a like and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I'll try to reply. Coming in at number 10, we have armpit hair. One of the most commonly shaved areas by women is their armpits. That is because most people think armpit hair doesn't look good and has no purpose. And that is somewhat correct, as it doesn't do anything noticeably. But this hair goes to show that some useful things aren't always clear to see. Armpit hair actually works very similar to perfume or deodorant. That is because it releases hormones for attractive signaling. This basically means it can be used to attract people of the opposite gender using scent. Who knew armpits were supposed to be so attractive? Strangely, armpit hair also produces another less attractive thing. Armpit hair is also where your sweat glands are. This means that the hair can help cool you down by releasing sweat. It's good to be cool, but nobody likes the smell of sweat. It seems like the uses of armpits and their hair really contradict each other. On one hand, they're trying to make you smell good, and on the other, they're not. So, your armpits and their hair may actually be one of the most and least attractive parts of your body. Next up is moles. To most people, moles are very strange. It's hard to know what the point of them is and why they only exist on some people. But for many people and many cultures, there are some important meanings behind them. For example, moles on the upper lip show the person is very generous and kind. Some more common areas for moles are on your neck, shoulders, nose, and forehead. Moles on your neck represent an angry or aggressive person who tends to be antisocial. On the other hand, a shoulder mole shows the person is very brave and courageous. A nose mole represents someone who has a short temper, but is also a quick thinker and has a lot of self-respect. Finally, a forehead mole may show wealth and fame in society, but can also represent selfishness. These are just a few meanings behind moles in more common places. Of course, there are other areas where moles can be, with obviously even more meanings. But the most common ones tend to represent wealth, fame, selfishness, aggression, temper, and social level. Do you have any moles? And if so, do the things that moles say about you match up? Next up is nipples. Whether you're a man or a woman, you have nipples. The strange thing is, they only have a use for women. Much like armpit hair, nipples are an area where women produce a lot of hormones. These hormones are actually used for producing oestrogen, used in reproduction. This means it's almost vital when creating a child. That's right, next time you say nipples are useless, remember, you wouldn't be here without them. But that does cause you to ask the question, why do men have nipples? The truth is that for men, nipples don't actually have a use. This is because while women need oestrogen to produce babies, men don't, as they obviously don't produce any babies. But men still do have nipples, because as unbelievable as it sounds, all men begin life as women. This is because all embryos are female to begin with. It then becomes more masculine as it becomes older. Eventually, it finally develops into a man, despite being a woman to start with. This is actually why men and women have similar anatomy. That's right, your dad was once a girl. Now that really is mind-blowing. So, despite men and women thinking nipples are useless, for women that is not true, but for men, maybe they're right. Next up is eyebrows. Everybody has eyebrows, but most of us have very different shapes and sizes. And today, people spend tons of money trying to make their eyebrows perfect or on fleek. Some have short, thick eyebrows, while others may be larger and thinner. But did you know this is mainly because of the useful purpose they serve? The point of eyebrows is actually to keep sweat and rain out of your eyes. This is because it prevents a cover that stops water going straight down, as it has to go either side of your face and not in your eyes. So next time you're considering whether to shave your eyebrows off as a dare, don't. They're really useful. They can also prevent dirt and dust from entering your eyes. This is useful in hot and sweaty environments, but also rainy and wet environments. This is also why different people have different types of eyebrows depending on their environment. For example, in a hotter place, your eyebrows will be bigger as they have to block more sweat. In a cold or dry place, however, your eyebrows will be smaller as they don't have to block as much. Also, they cover an area with a lot of muscle movement. This means it's easier to tell people's emotions, as the muscles can show surprise, shock, anger, and many more. If you want to see an example of these emotions, then listen to these facts, and watch your eyebrows raise in surprise. 
Next up is tonsils. Lots of people usually end up having their tonsils removed. That probably makes you think that they're not necessary, but in actual fact, that couldn't be further from the truth. Tonsils are actually very important in your immune system, especially during digestion. That is because of the amount of bacteria that can get into your mouth throughout the day. You need to protect yourself from all the bad bacteria that can get in your body. This is where your tonsils come into play. Tonsils can alert the rest of the body to any potential dangers. This will allow your antibodies and white blood cells to quickly act and destroy any bad bacteria. This can even help prevent respiratory infections. This is obviously very useful as it means there's less chance you will contract an illness. But for those of you who have had their tonsils removed, you don't need to worry. Tonsils help to reduce infections, but they don't stop them. So it isn't much of a problem to have them taken out. But if you do have them, then don't take them for granted as they are secretly doing wonders for you and your body. And they're so modest too. Next up is appendix. A body part that many consider completely pointless is your appendix. It's notorious for being lacking in any kind of function, and it may be fairly useless now, but many years ago it had a very important purpose. Before humans were able to eat processed or ready-made foods, they had to rely on less advanced meals. Things such as grass or tree bark, which were commonplace. But these were very hard to consume, even for primitive humans who were used to it. That is where the appendix comes into play. The appendix was the chamber where the foods could ferment. This made the foods much more digestible and easier for our stomachs to break down. Because we no longer eat low quality foods like this, we no longer have to break down the foods in this method. This has slowly made our appendixes completely useless nowadays. You really don't need to ferment a pizza or soda because they're so easy to digest. Well, unless you supersize your meal of course. So next time somebody says appendixes have no use, you can blow their mind with this crazy historic fact. Next up is wisdom teeth. Wisdom teeth are one of the most annoying body parts, as anyone who has ever had one removed would know very well, and most people probably think anything as annoying as that must not have a use. Well that's actually not right, as wisdom teeth are very important for early stages of your development. When you're a child, you have very weak teeth and jaws. This can make it hard for children to properly chew food, and could harm them. This is why it's really useful to have wisdom teeth. They don't come through until later in life, as they provide your teeth and jaw with a strong support. This means it's much easier to chew as a child. When it's no longer necessary, it begins to come out of your gums and grow fully. They then need to be pulled out, as they no longer have any use and sometimes cause problems in your mouth. Pulling the teeth out is obviously what most people know about wisdom teeth. It sucks if you have to have it done as an adult, but just be thankful you didn't have to have it done as a kid. I don't know about you, but as kids, I really did not like the dentist. No offense, Dr. Johnson. Next up is uvula. If you've ever seen a cartoon character scream, you've likely seen that pink thing in the back of their throat. And normally when you see this, you'd wonder what it is and what it does. This is actually one of the most useful body parts that you almost definitely have never heard of. And if you have heard of it, chances are you don't know its uses. One of the uses of uvula is that it allows you to drink water easier. This is because the uvula provides saliva all around your mouth. This is also how you can speak, as it stops your mouth from being dry. Another use of uvulas is they control snoring. According to many studies, there's a link between snoring and uvulas. This is because of the nerve fibers in the uvula. The more fibers you have, the less likely you are to snore in your sleep. So, uvulas can be used for drinking, sleeping, and speaking. If you think about it, it's actually responsible for some of your most valuable bodily functions. Especially sleeping, I know a lot of you guys like doing that. Next up is fingernails. Fingernails are pretty easy to find useful functions for. You normally use them to open hard objects or to peel labels, you know, that kind of thing. But our ancestors didn't have to do any of that and they still had nails. So what is the original point of fingernails? Well it turns out they're one of the reasons we're called mammals. Most land living mammals tend to feature claws on their bodies. And if you haven't already noticed, most humans don't feature claws. Unless your name is Wolverine. But what you may know is that nails technically count as claws. They have the same structure and are only flattened version of animal claws you normally see. So that means we're included under the category of land mammal. So nails are the reason why we are what we are. Pretty crazy if you think about it. It makes you wonder what we'd be if we weren't mammals. Reptiles maybe? And next up we have tailbone. 
We don't all have tails, but we all have tail bones. You can have it removed, suggesting that it's completely useless, and you've probably wondered why it exists. Well, in this case, the clue is very much in the name. Tail bones are where your tail is. Nowadays, we don't have real cat-like tails, but monkeys do have long tails, and there are some features from them passed on to us. And one trait that is passed on to us is where the pre-evolved tail once was. We no longer need a tail because we don't climb trees. So tails just stopped growing and only the tail bone is left. It's also possible however that our tail bone provides us with some balance. Because tails are usually used for balance in extreme conditions. This means tail bones are probably used for the same reason and could be why we stay balanced. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you can vote for the most useful strange body part. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting? Subscribe to Top 10s.